Do you have a type? I like guys that don't like me. And when they start liking me, mm -hmm. I don't like them. No woman is going to be happy with you chasing her ass all the time. Like, all yeah. the time. I'm not yeah. talking about in the beginning when you guys are coming together. I'm talking about if you live your life chasing a woman and showing up at her doorstep and having flowers and shit and violins and, you know, all that shit, you're killing yourself. Yeah. The relationship is not going to last. The reality is you, when you buy your way in and you become a provider and you just become like a like you represent provision, that's not the same as being sexually stimulated. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Like, out. representing provision and just being a guy, yo, I'm going to buy you a bunch of shit. Yo, that, that's yeah. weak. I ain't See, a guy, buy, a guy that, never a guy, buy nobody guys that use again. money, guys that use money, <laughs> never do guys that, that use again. money to to sustain their relationships and use money to get their way in. That's yeah, that was me. That it's was weakness. Me. Yeah. It's weak I mean, because it you don't believe in you enough. Yeah. You you trying no to use way. money. Yeah, yeah. You see what I'm saying? You got to be you. That. The money, the money is an exclamation mark. Yeah. The money makes you more of whatever you already are. But you got to bring something to the table. When you get out of a relationship. You have feelings that lean toward not ever wanting to be in a relationship again. So why is it then that many men find themselves right back into a relationship situation within the first year of being out of a long-term relationship that in their mind, hearts, and spirits ended terribly? You can go anywhere to get the lies, but I know you came here to get the truth. Welcome to the Alphasphere. Welcome to the Alphasphere. The only place on the planet that's totally engulfed in positivity and totally submerged in alpha energy. I'm your host, Dr. B.O.A. Do you have a type? I like guys that don't like me. And when they start liking me, mm -hmm. I don't like them. And it's really, like, really sad. It's weird. But unless I really, really, really like them, then I'll still like them. But I like when guys, like, Act like they don't like me and don't act interested in, you know what I'm saying? Now, the one thing that I would implore you men to understand is this. Deep down inside, we all have a carnal need to be close to a woman. And what today we're just going to talk about one woman. We're not going to talk about the polygamous thing or having two women. We're going to talk about man, woman, not men, women. We have this inclination to want to be involved with the woman physically. But there's a line that needs to be drawn between the physical and the mental, emotional, spiritual, financial. But many men can't draw that line. Why is that? Because everything on the right side of that line, your spiritual being, your mental being, your physical being, your financial being, you still have a struggle with deciding that all of those things hold more value than your sexual connection with the woman. See, many men still have the mind of a trick. And whether you trick off at a strip, strip club or, or you're on a, 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 a sugar daddy site or you're on OnlyFans or, or any site where you may be tricking off, it's not whether you trick off or not. It's whether you have the mindset of a trick. Because here's the thing, if you have the mindset of a trick, when the opportunity comes to be a trick, you will willingly go down that path. And that is the result that causes men to be so distraught and so heartbroken and so upset when the relationship ends. It has nothing to do with the fact that the relationship is over. It has something to do with the fact that you invested so much into the relationship. Now, why do you do that? Because you have the mindset of a trick. You believe that whatever a woman brings to the table is worth everything you have. Men go into relationships and give all they have, regardless of what a woman is giving. So if a woman is giving you amazing sex, you give her all that you have. If a woman isn't giving you amazing sex, but she's giving you more of a support, you give her all you have. If a woman simply makes you feel good about yourself because she's beautiful and young, you give her all you have. If a woman is quiet and just listens to you talk all of your troubles and tell her all of your problems, you give her all you have. That is why the majority of men need to avoid relationships completely because if a woman is not giving you true value in your life, you're going to lose out 
when it comes to evaluating you know what the benefit of a relationship is you're going to be giving all that you have and only getting a little in return and if you do that year after year after year you get five years in 10 years in 15 years in and you have a woman who never was happy with you anyway she finally gets to the point where she divorces you and you are flabbergasted you are distraught your world is turned upside down simply because you have nothing left everything you have you have invested it into the relationship and which in essence means into the woman. So you have nothing left. So she leaves and takes all of you with her. All you have left is memories. And the memories you enjoy the most, unfortunately, are the ones you made with her. You can't get past the memories with her, the memory of her, to remember who you used to be before the relationship. So you're lost. 22 years gone, just at the door, just gone that easy, man. And the people around you, you have pushed them away because you became someone that they didn't even know while you were in the relationship, giving all of yourself to a woman. See, this is the thing you have to understand, man. When you give all of yourself to a woman, you have nothing left to give those other people in your life who mean something to you. Men are waking up and realizing the American woman mindset is altered, skewed. It's bad for business. It's bad for marriage. It's bad for life. Why is that? Because the modern day woman is very masculine. Society and the feminists have skewed and altered the matrix into having women believe, get a good education and a good job, and you don't need a man. And you're seeing the percentages and the numbers and statistics go up. More and more people are single and less and less birth rates are happening in America. And men are tired of it. So what's happening now, men are getting passports and going overseas to find a woman. And American women are upset and sideways about it. Number one response is they can't handle us. And for once in your life, you're correct. You can't. Nobody else can handle you. And on top of that, nobody else wants to handle you. When a woman says this, nobody can handle me. That's why they're doing it. They're mad, they're bitter. What is the outcome that you want? Because if you're a woman that says you don't need a man, then you have no business commenting on this video and disagreeing with me. I am not a man who's gonna knock a man for going overseas or, here, you can go to the moon if you think that you can get a better response from a woman on the moon. I ain't gonna never be one that say that. So you don't ever hear me speak on that. You don't ever hear me speak on why a man going where he going, because frankly, I don't give a damn what nobody does with their wood. That's your wood. Whatever you do with it, I hope it ends up good for you. That's what a million dollars do. You get rid, get rid of, of every day. Get rid of all those domestic $10 an hour chores you got to do every day. Bro, if I come in the house, I don't even want to see my wife folding clothes. Why you want to see your wife folding clothes for? Bro, she raising the baby, bro. No, you good. You good. They had enough of that. That's what I said. We not our, they not their grandmothers, bro. Um, you know, mm. grandma. What grand what what what, are, what grandmothers do on Sundays? The entire Sunday. They, Folding, they dedicate cleaning, dishes, <laughs> everything. And for some reason, like we just drag that on. We do like we supposed to do that. And then we got some men out here who are saying, No, I can't marry her, bro. She don't cook and clean and what right. Nobody wanna do that. Your grand first of all, our grandma <laughs> ain't wanna do that shit, bro. My grandma had twelve kids. Had nine. Yeah, not you see, and they had to do all that yeah. with nine kids. Why you wanna bring those all that 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 that, that traumatic experience to your wife to do the same thing. The thing is that energy gonna come on to me. If she gotta cook exactly. and clean all day, I'm gonna come home after I just got finished working. All right. So when you really think about it, man, you hear this guy talking like, when a woman works at home, when she cleans up, that she gotta do it every day. That when she cooks, she gotta spend all day cooking. That when she does laundry, she gotta spend all day every day doing laundry. What the hell you mean, man? How you gonna compare your woman who got one child to your grandma who had 12? Of course it's hectic for a woman with 12 kids to do laundry. She gotta do laundry for 12 kids and her husband and herself. Your woman got one child. So you trying to give a woman, I'm telling you what this is, brother. This is a simp talking about trying to make up for what he believes his grandma went through. Cause I bet he ain't never asked his grandma, do she wanna do that? That's a woman talking through him. This is what happens when men come out and perpetuate the same energy that women do and speak on behalf of women about something that they nor the woman has ever gone through. We talking about his grandma with 12 kids, but we talking about him trying to make up for it by not making his wife with one kid clean and cook. And let me tell y'all something right now. My girl love to do it. She love to cook for me, but 
she also does something that she has a passion for, a gift that she got from, from the most high, and get her money from it. I bank on pimp principles. She's going to get to some money, but she can't be in corporate America getting to it. So she loved to do it. But I'm not going to have her do a top to bottom clean of the house every every week. I'm cool. If she bring money in like that, if she bring this type of paper in, we can hire somebody to do that. I'm cool with hiring somebody to do that. You understand? If you got a woman who contributed some show enough paper to the process, hey, man, I'll hire somebody to do that. But I'm not finna. He talking about a woman who's sitting at home every day doing nothing. And he don't want to see her do nothing. This boy's simp. I don't want, he's a, I'll give you the sun, the rain, the moon, the stars, and the mountains. And see, guys want to shame you and I for labeling things like this as beta, for labeling things like this as soft, for labeling things like this as weak. As weak. But it's not. It's not at all. It's not a problem for us. We're just telling them how it is. And you got these young boys coming up out here, man. And you got these women, they meet these women who have every intention on just using them from day one. And you got this guy going in, leading with his wallet. You can't lead with your wallet, man. Never listen to anybody tell you to lead with your wallet. Never lead with your wallet. Never. And so let me tell you what social media is doing. These platforms are giving everybody an opportunity to make some money saying what they say. So a lot of people are coming out telling the truth now. When you hear all these women repeating things that we've been saying for years, they just understand that there's a market in telling the truth. So they literally come out now and finally tell the truth because there's a dollar amount attached to it. They can make money telling the truth now. And so they do it. So some of the older women you hear talking, they're giving you the game now. Anytime you hear an older woman on the platform talking, man, she's giving the game. Why? Because she knows that there's some money in it. And she knows that men, for some reason, will rather hear it from a woman and even an OG woman who, who's still pretty put together. Man, guys will listen to that. And so they're coming out giving the real. And if you notice now, the dudes are the one coming out talking like this. Man, you don't hear no women talking like this. You see some women in the comments to my protect this man at all costs. Yes, protect him at all costs. Because they still want somebody to fly this flag of sympology. Uh, I'm like, damn, bro, like, how and can I, I fix this? And that's when I started hiring all this. All the cleaners and all and all the people around the house. And I th I think a lot of dudes don't realize that once you make a woman's life, especially if it's a woman that's really rocking with you, y'all for each other, once you make her life easier, yeah. she's we you know we always talking about peace. We need peace of mind. She's gonna be that peace that you talking about once you make her life that simple and easy. Yeah, but she can't be your but peace and she, she just don't know all these chores and shit, bro. <laughs> I'm gonna tell y'all something right now. And I want every man within the sound of my voice to hear this. If you need a woman to be your peace, you're weak. A woman isn't meant to be your peace. These men speak with godlessness. They have no godliness in them. So they need to seek their peace from a woman. Why? When a woman is historically the author of chaos and mass confusion, 